the Royal Rumble is next, guys! But tonight, we're going to have some qualifying matches so superstars can earn their entry into the Royal Rumble. Let's begin. Oh, man, we're, why are we starting off with, with this guy? Oh, shoot, man, it's the bowling contest. It's at the one fall. And it is a Royal Rumble qualifying match. Introducing first, Finn the Goldfish. Well, guys, the Royal Rumble match, everybody knows it is 30 men, every man for themselves. And we can have superstars from all over the world, superstars from all different backgrounds, like this guy, Finn the Goldfish. He is a literal goldfish. And his opponent, Bo Dallas. This man is a longtime veteran here in S. Smith and he has competed in many Royal Rumbles in his career. And can this be his year to possibly enter in and win? I oh, mean, as weird as Bo Dallas is, he is a former champion. He is a former Money in the Bank winner. So this match will be interesting. Two, two superstars who are kind of out there right now. Goldfish! Oh, my favorite snack from my childhood. I love you so much that I'm going to beat you because I'm going to be in the Royal Rumble. I pull it. Hey, buddy. Did you just say you eat goldfish? Are you kidding me? You eat me? I would eat me? There was already some tension between these two competitors. And I don't know what Bo Dallas just said to make the goldfish so angry right now, but he's going right after Bo Dallas. You gotta love that. Aggression right now from Finn the Goldfish. This man wants to be in the Royal Rumble. I don't know if it's about the Rumble or if it's about what Bo Dallas said to Finn. You heard me, Finn. I eat goldfish. They're my favorite snack. You monster. Now Finn is angry. Ah, but the veteran there, Bo Dallas, just outsmarted the goldfish right now. Oh, you know what's Bo Dallas going to go for? His finisher, the running Bo Dog. Wait a minute, no, the goldfish caught him. Whoa. And the veteran Bo Dallas lands on the ropes. Ah, and he pulls down Finn. And Bo Dallas takes control. Bully, bully. And Bo Dallas now, a massive kick. Wait a minute, no, an aggressive roll up. One, two, three. Oh, he got him. He got him. Who is your winner? The goldfish! Oh, oh, oh. There's some aggression there. Finn the goldfish, the aggressive man, just beat Bo Dallas. Finn the goldfish has entered in the Royal Rumble. This man just earned himself a spot in the Rumble, and if he brings that aggression to the Rumble match, this man might be your winner. And could Finn the goldfish win in main event WrestleMania? I cannot believe Bo Dallas just lost to a piece of food. <laughs> His goldfish. No. No. At entrant number one and entrant number two, you will avail yourself to me at the Royal Rumble. The following contest is a Royal Rumble qualifying match. Introducing first, Ricochet! The Ricochet is the living highlight reel. I would love to see this man have a breakout year in SMF Wrestling this year. And his opponent, LeFrog. Well, this guy right here, he is a part of the tag team called The Frogs. This is LeFrog. This man is, he's a French frog. And uh, he made his debut a couple months ago in the, in the tag team rumble with his tag team partner. And we actually saw him helping out Greg Hefley. So I wonder if that's going to kind of play here tonight. Here you go, fellas. The bell rings in the frog versus Ricochet. Two fellas who want to be in the rumble match real badly. Wait, oh, where's Ricochet doing? Oh, drop kick from Ricochet. And, whoa. Here comes Ricochet. What is this here? Oh, and the frog wisely. He just rolled out of the ring and out of harm's way. Wait a second. Ricochet ain't going down without a fight here. Look at this. Oh, Ricochet over the top rope. Takes out the frog. And he's going to throw him back in the ring smart. You can only pin your opponent inside of the ring. Now watch Ricochet doing up the top rope. Now nah, wait a minute. The numbers game. Here comes the Toad. The tag partner of the frog. And is this short distraction going to cost Ricochet right now? Oh, and a kick down. The Toad just got knocked out. Wait a minute. You got to be kidding me. Oh, there's the distraction though. No, coming by the frog. One, two. Oh, Ricochet. Ricochet still has quite left in him. He does not want to lose his opportunity to go to the Royal Rumble. Well, neither does the frog. Here comes the frog. Oh, Ricochet out of the way. Ricochet. Oh, oh a massive kick. No. Ow, oh, and puts on. Dang, Ricochet is on fire. Oh, another one. In a cover. Wait, 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 wait. Is that Greg Hefley? Oh, no. Come on, Ricochet. Don't get distracted right now. Oh, well, guys. Greg just walked out here. He's not doing anything wrong. Ricochet, don't turn around. Oh, and there. Oh, a nice. First DDT in the cover. One, two, three. I can't believe he did it. Who is your winner? The Frog. 
And the Frog just picked up his first singles victory of his career, all by a cheap distraction from Greg Hefley and the Toad. Ah, I care what you guys are saying. The Frog just shocked the world. This man might have a career. After all, he just defeated Ricochet, and now this man will be an entrant into the Royal Rumble. L E Frog, Le Frog. Yo, superstars, it's me, the general manager, Kurt Angle. Now, if you guys say that I'm the best general manager and tell Stephanie that, I'll let you guys in the Royal Rumble. Who wants in? Who wants in? Oh, Mr. Kurt Angle. While I do appreciate your desperate offer and attempt to keep your job, I don't have to qualify for the Royal Rumble, nor do I need to take your hand out in the Royal Rumble, and then I'm going to win to take over my throne at the main event of WrestleMania. Um, I don't care what you just said. If you say I'm the best, I'll put you in. <sighs> Whatever, you're the best. All right, Syndrome, you're in the Rumble. But I, Tack, the Mighty Warrior, I have not lost a match in a while. I want to be in the Royal Rumble. I can show the world the power of the poo poo noo noo people. You know what, Tech? You're in awesome. Hey! I'm winning the Royal Rumble. The following contest is a Royal Rumble qualifying match. Introducing first, R. True! Yeah, people over there, what's up? Yeah, R. True! Say, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Well, the popular R Truth looks to make a comeback in his career. Is he going to enter in the Royal Rumble? And his opponent, the Spoon. Well, in case you guys haven't realized by now, anybody can qualify for the Royal Rumble. You got R Truth versus a man who's even weirder, the Spoon. Spoon heads, it's me, the Spoon, your favorite wrestler ever. Spoon heads. Tonight is our moment. Tonight, once we get past this loser, our truth we're going to enter in the Royal Rumble. And the Spoon is going to win and dethrone Hollywood Firm. And all of my millions of Spoon heads out there are going to be celebrating as I win the World Championship. Hold on, Doug. Hold on, Doug. Hey. Hey. Forky from Toy Story. You are not going to take my spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm going to beat you. If the spoon looks mad, ah, oh, the spoon sheep sounds on true. And there's nothing right about that sheep shot right now. The spoon has to be separated by the referee. Is our truth okay to compete in this match? I don't know, he might be injured after that. The spoon is angry though. Wait a minute, and it looks like our truth might be ready to compete actually. And the bell rings, okay. Well, after that sheep shot, our truth is in this match. Oh, and a massive kick though. Oh, another one. And our truth is down at the hands of the spoon. Okay, well, wait a minute. If the Spoon keeps up this aggressiveness, maybe he does have a chance to win. Oh, Spoon Splash! Here it comes. Four, two, three. Wow! Here is your winner, the Spoon! Guys, I'm actually impressed with a, with a nice, quick victory. The Spoon, with his aggressiveness, just defeats our troop, and now the Spoon has qualified for the Royal Rumble. That's right, Buzz. Well, this may be a little bit of a redemption story for, for the Spoon. He made his debut in the Royal Rumble, and can this man win it this year in 2024? I don't know if what a nice win by the Spoon. So, who wants a spot in the Royal Rumble? I'm handing out handouts right now. Who wants it? Who wants it? Mr. Kurt Angle, we do not need your handout. Me and my boys, Bobby Lashley and the Spoon Puppets, have done nothing but win. So, if you want us to say that you're the best general manager, whatever. Just put us all three of us in the Royal Rumble. You know what? I'll make it official right now. Mintage Pod, Angelo Dukins, Bobby Lashley. All you guys are in the Rumble. It's true. It's damn true. I'm the best, right? Yeah, I'm the best. I'm the best. Get out of my office. Yeah, I'm the best. Man, Steffi not going to fire me. I'm going to keep my job. Yeah, Kanye, Kanye. Yeah. Uh, 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 ah, type in the bed. Hey, um, I just did a lot of, a lot of business, so don't get me fired. Kerr, why don't you take the rest of the night off? Uh, okay, let me say. Uh. Uh, hey, can you find me Paul Heyman and bring him to my office, please? Yes, yes, ma'am. The following contest is a tag team match, and it's to qualify for the Royal Rumble. 
Introducing first a team of Gumby and Pokey. Well, Phillips, right now, we're going to have a tag team match. And this is how this works. The winning team, both members of the other team, will enter into the Royal Rumble. And their opponents, the team of Wario and Waluigi. All the greedy and nasty, tough superstars, Wario and Waluigi. These two guys, they've been busting their ass. These guys have been winning matches, but they have not broke through yet. And maybe this could be their year. That's right, fellas. And Wario and Waluigi into the Royal Rumble. There's a good chance that one of these two are walking out with their spot to mimic at WrestleMania. Right now, we have Pokey versus Waluigi starting off this match. That's right, fellas. Waluigi debuted last year at WrestleMania, but, but Pokey, he started out in my company, SBW. This man is a former star champion. This man's got a lot of potential. And it only here won. And a bow. And now Waluigi kicks out. I won. I don't know what Pokey thinks. Trying to end it already. That's Pokey now going to send Waluigi against the ropes here. Wait a minute. No. Oh, Waluigi just hired onto the ropes in a nice kick, though. And oh, now he takes out Pokey. And now Waluigi right now, he's going to show his aggression right now. He's going to stop Pokey against the ropes, though. He's going to take advantage of the referee's count right now, doing as much damage as he can before the referee has to pull him off right now. now Pokey definitely was hurt after those stomps. Yeah. Oh, a tag, though. I don't know if you saw it, though. Oh, a nice splash, though, from Waluigi. Wait a minute, Warrior's legal, though. Ow, oh, a double splash. Nice tag team connection and a cover. Four. Two. And our Gumby broke it up though, and if Gumby was not there, this match might have been over. Here comes Wario, no! That was a nice distraction, taking out Wario there. Wait a minute, oh, there's Pokey, no! One, two! Oh, the veteran Wario kicked out of that roll-up. That might have been it, they might have just stole one. It doesn't matter, right now, Pokey is still hurt right now. No, look at this! Oh, oh, an attack though, Gumby's legal! No, this is Gumby right now, this man is a veteran, and that's the first People say he is one of the best in-ring competitors in this business! This man, Gumby, has held many tag team championships as well as singles titles up and over onto the ropes though and ow a nice step up there take it out wario what is this don't be now gonna use the ropes and oh a ddt drops down the nasty man oh no it's gonna be gonna go for a cover one two and aha it's two for two an eye for an eye waluigi breaks it up it's all about who wants to be in that way rumble more wario and waluigi or gumby and pokey now, oh, now, now, Gumby's not going to let his aggression get to his head. Oh, now, splash in the corner, though, and there's the nice tag team connection there. And love him or hate him, Wario and Waluigi have great tag team chemistry. And a double move right there. Sign up to go to the Royal Rumble here. One, two. Oh, last second, Pokey saves this match. This team is going to the Royal Rumble. And I think right now, both teams are realizing that they have to eliminate the other team member two on two. This match will never end if everybody keeps breaking up each other's pins. Now here comes Gumby though, taking out Waluigi. Oh, Waluigi though with a nice kick though, knocked down Gumby. Who's gonna go up to Pokey? Waluigi looking to end Pokey right now. Oh, and now, oh, a nice slam right into the post. No, this is not where you want to be if you're Waluigi. No way. Oh, the gum buster it hits. Wait, oh, oh, there's a four. Gumby is knocked out. That's the advantage of having your tag team partner conscious at all moment in time. Wait, here goes Pokey. Oh, Pokey just took out Wario. Oh, Pokey is angry right now. And Wario's in a Here goes Pokey. Ah, oh, Pokey went face first against the post. And oh, on the steel steps. And Waluigi back up here. And oh, a nice stomp right to Gumby. And now Wario is going to tag in. And now, oh, the elbow drop. And Wario. One, two, three, the match is over. And are your winners, the team of Wario and Waluigi. And just like that, the aggressive, nasty, greedy men, Wario and Waluigi, earned themselves two entrants into the Royal Rumble. And it's right, fellas, and keep it. And as you said earlier, it is every man for themselves. And if these two team up in that rumble, that's going to be unfair. I cannot wait to see how this is going to play out. How are these two men going to coexist in the Royal Rumble? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Stephanie McMahon. I have a word to tell you about the Royal Rumble. You see, last year... I got my client, my golden boy, Hollywood Ferb, to enter in at number 30, and he won the Royal Rumble last year. He main evented WrestleMania, and now he is still the world champion after nearly one year. But Miss Stephanie McMahon, before you even say anything, I want to remind you of the contract that I signed with Mr. Kurt Angle. I control when Ferb appears, and to your surprise, Stephanie, I am allowing Hollywood Ferb 
to enter in the Royal Rumble once again this year. It is a part of the contract, so since Mr. Angle is not here, <laughs> you have to agree right now. The contract says Ferb gets number 30. Wow, what a pleasant surprise, Heyman. See, I was going to call you into my office to tell you that Ferb still owes us a world title defense after, after we did not get to see one in December, but I'd say this makes up for it, so... You have yourself a deal, Mr. Heyman. Bird will be in the Royal Rumble. You see, that wasn't just so bad. You know, Stephanie, I respect the McMahon family. You know, if we could just maybe get along and destroy our differences, you know, we could be great business partners, you know? Wait, Mr. Heyman, you didn't let me finish my sentence. Ferb will be in the Royal Rumble, but if he wins the match, then that would mean that he would technically have to face himself in the main event of WrestleMania, which is not possible. So I'm going to agree to put Ferb in the Royal Rumble, but Heyman, if Ferb wins the Royal Rumble, then the only catch is that I have to choose his opponent at SMF WrestleMania. And that was the deal that we just shook on. Oh, no, no, wait, that is not part of the plan. No, it was supposed to be Ferb versus Omos at WrestleMania. No, no. The following contest is a Royal Rumble qualifying match. Introducing first, Scooby Doo! In this underdog right here, literally, Scooby Doo is hyped up to be in this match here tonight. 2023, uh, let's just say, he did not go his way. He used to be the king of the ring, actually. And this man, I cannot believe how far this man's career has gone down the toilet. This guy has been nothing but a loser this past year. But maybe 2024 will be a chance for him to turn his career around. Well, Scooby Doo is certainly popular with the fans. Well, let's hope he can earn himself a spot in the Rumble here tonight. And his opponent, T Bar. Well, this is a guy that I would like to see break out this year. This guy looks like he could be a future world champion. But can he earn himself a spot in the world right now? I'd say his chances are pretty good. Scooby Doo, he's not the best anymore. Oh, come on, buddy. I'm Scooby Doo. Oh, and immediately this man, T Bar, just destroyed Scooby. Now, oh, T Bar's taking out Scooby Doo. I don't know what Scooby's game plan is so far, but that was not good to start off like that. T Bar is now being separated by the referee. Scooby's hurt. T-Bar right now, he knows this is the only chance to make a name for himself here. Close line right to Scooby. Is that enough already? One, two. Oh, Scooby Doo just kicked out of there. That was good for Scooby. I didn't think he had it there. Actually, I don't think that was good because now T-Bar is even more angry. Now, what is this T-Bar right now? Oh, he's going to slam down Scooby Doo. Oh, he's going to go for another one. Oh, slam him onto the outside. T-Bar right now showing the SMF Wrestling Universe what he's made of. The aggressiveness he has. That's going on, on the outside now. Oh, putting Scooby against the barricade. This is an absolute burial of Scooby Doo. Yo, poor Scooby, you can't do anything to fight back. Right now, t bar takes control of the former king of the ring winner, Scooby-Doo. You know what is t bar going to do? He looks to finish it right now. Wait, oh, roll up! One, two! Oh, t bar kicked out of the nut. I thought that was it for Scooby. And so did Scooby. I think he thinks he might have just won. Oh, newsflash, Scooby. t bar kicked out at two. No, wait a minute. Here comes t bar right now in a suplex. Wait, Scooby landed on his feet. He landed on his feet. I don't think t bar noticed that. No, he didn't know see Scooby. Scooby is hurt in the corner. Here comes T-Bar in. Oh, Scooby out of the way. Scooby was playing dead. T-Bar just got knocked out. Who oh, told me? Who told me? It is Scooby there right now. About to snap his losing streak. Come on, Scooby. You got it, man. Shannon, in your inner king of the ring. Here comes Scooby do here. Scooby Turbo. Is that enough to beat T-Bar in a cover? One, two, three. He did it. He did it. Oh, my God. What an upset Phyllis! Here is your winner, Scooby Doo! I cannot believe it, Phyllis. This man, Scooby Doo, has snapped his losing streak. He just won a match. I cannot believe it. Gosh, it's 2024. It's already starting off insane. Scooby Doo just won a match? Are you kidding me? That never happens. Scooby Doo, this man is now in the Royal Rumble. Scooby Doo. He just earned himself a spot. And could this man somehow win the Rumble, pull off another crazy victory, and main event WrestleMania? There is no way. 
Yes! Who did it? Scooby Doo Doo! I win! No! Scooby Doo Doo! Who did it, guys? Who did it? I win! Oh, I'm gonna win! The Royal Rumble! I will throw him on down! No! Who did it? Scooby Doo Doo! I'm a winner! Yeah! Oh, what? 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 I recognize that music! Oh! It's the beast! Rock Lesnar! What is this man doing here? Don't tell me! We have not seen the beast Brock Lesnar in months! Brock Lesnar, the former world champion and YouTube champion! Oh, and that far right to scoop me down! What a shocking moment to end this episode! Oh, wait a minute, there's T-Bar right now, T-Bar! Oh, and that far right to T-Bar! Well, free window has to break up this assault! You're, you're not gonna steal it to the beast Brock Lesnar! Oh, no, not the referee! Not the referee! Oh, and that far to the referee! Oh, Brock Lesnar, please, the ring, the beast, has been unleashed. Oh, my God, Brock Lesnar, he has a microphone in his hand. Who's he going to say? A uh, thanks to uh, the best general manager of all time, Kurt Angle. The beast, Brock Lesnar, will be in the Royal Rumble. Are you kidding me, fellas? The beast, Brock Lesnar, just announced his own entry into the SMF Wrestling Royal Rumble. You know Brock Lesnar has unfinished business with Paul Heyman and most importantly the world champion Hollywood Ferb. And could this be Brock's chance to, to get his rematch in the main event of WrestleMania? Well, all 29 other men better fear the beast. Brock Lesnar, scooby is one of those men. Everybody it should be scared right now to enter in this Royal Rumble because the beast is confirmed. We thank you fellas for watching and we'll see you next episode at the Royal Rumble. We're not going to want to miss this. It'll be the most historic rumble we've ever done. Thank you for watching.